schedule. So let me talk about this for a little bit while we wait for the uh, the raid to get underway here. Um, so the raid morning. Schedule, how this works is basically you can just um, literally stay in my stream and um, every person who is streaming on this list will take you to the next person. That's how it goes. Um, okay, thank you, DK. Good morning, chat. Um, I'm not usually up this early. I'm a little scuffed. Illy, thank you for redeeming first. How are you guys today? They you appear to have acquired a brown outline of my PNG. Yes, I'm using a layout uh, provided by a Crafty Day Inn. Uh, this is this is what everybody's doing. Good morning, Night Owl Crafter. I am great. <laughs> uh, so this is a layout provided by the Community Over Competition event that I am in this morning, which is why we're here so early. Uh, and I will be I will be crafting for them. It is a uh, 38 vendors in it. If you do exclamation point crafty, it'll give you all the details for it. It was pretty chill. It's pretty chill. Good morning, Iko. Please continue to lurk. I love you. Go back to bed. <laughs> Thank you, Illy. Illy is a, an honorary mod for the day. Thank you, Illy. You are a godsend. <laughs> I'm here. I have water. I'm ready. Delicious water. We're gonna make coffee now. I got water. That's all I got this morning. <laughs> I quickly painted my nails this morning too. Still a little wet. <clears throat> OMG! Graceful Dawn! Well, look at you! How you doing? Good morning! Welcome in, Raiders from a Graceful Dawn stream. A crafty day in raid train. Heck yeah! How are you all today? Welcome in, welcome in. I am Katharina Game. I am a Perler streamer sometimes, uh, but that is what I do in my shop. I sell my Perler beads and stuff. Uh, I am working on some more Sailor Scouts today. Uh, Great Soldon, how was your stream? Did you enjoy the early morningness? Okay, have a good time. Welcome in. The mini me. Yes, excellent. Hello, Masked Bandit. Hello, ASD guy. Good morning, good morning. Hi, the Raymond Pond. Going back through, make sure I didn't miss anybody. Did you guys have a good time in Dawn's stream? I love watching her make anything, honestly. It's so fascinating to me to watch her take apart pieces and then make other pieces. Very cool. Gotta get some breakfast? Do it, get that breakfast. Hi, Vanishing Pearl, good to see you. Morning, Dawn. Hello. Was definitely not blocked by her own raid by sketchy internet. Uh oh. You're back. Mini me is okay. She just woke up. Aww. Thanks so much for the lurker lurk. Yeah, we'll be making another one today. I just figured I would post these on here so you could see them real quick before we continue going. Oop. So 
so welcome in uh i i i also usually have people chilling in my chat but it's it's it is really early for a lot of my normal viewers it's totally cool though i'm here i'm ready i'm raring to go <laughs> You gots to go post raid things? Do it. Do it, Don. I got you. I'm all over this. Really early o'clock is the best time for crafting. I 100% agree with you, Illy. Uh, we are continuing our lovely little... We, we made from here, so we're working on Venus, and then we're gonna do some kitty cats. Hey, Nail Queen 1991. Thank you so much for that follow. Appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you, Pearl. Thank you. I try. Uh, no matter what time of day, I swear I will be here and energetic and raring to go. I have not had my tea yet, but that's okay. I have water. Make sure you all stay hydrated, especially you, Don. I didn't see you take a drink of water at all, but then again... I was half distracted. It's early and you say weird things. Ah, just whatever, man. I appreciate the compliment, you lovely bean. Um, I, just so you all know, I usually use mini beads. I don't know if you guys know very much about perlers. Um, but perler beads are the fun things that you put onto a pattern and then you melt and it creates a solid foundation of something. Uh, this is normal size perler beads. Um, these are the ones you probably imagine from everything, but I use mini beads, um, which allows you to get a lot more detail in a lot smaller of a space. Uh, and that is, uh, that's what I usually do because they're much easier to turn into other things like keychains and whatnot. You can also get a lot more detail in something like that and it, it not be the size of a house. It's pretty cool. Have you heard about the raffle? Mm, I want to say yes, but I can't think of it right this second, so I'm gonna say no. <laughs> No face cam. I have a face cam. I am I am down here in the bottom left. It this is a VTuber PNG model. Uh and every time I speak, it opens its mouth and it's adorable. Ah. A crafty day in. Yeah, is organizing a $10 coupon to limited edition merch in a crafty day in Etsy stop. But I already bought stuff from the Etsy shop. <laughs> I already got my token. But that's cool. I didn't know about that one. So if you guys, yeah, that's that's pretty chill. That's pretty chill. I like that. Thank you, Don. Thank you for the info. Reporting in bright and early for crafty thingies. Bewick, I appreciate you waking up. I have a chance to win more. <laughs> When I saw that you guys had a store, I was like, ooh, hmm, must buy and support merchandise. Yes, good, let's do that. And so I bought things, and I was like, okay, I'm happy. <laughs> You're crafty, but still not awake. Hey, it's okay. Nothing stressful, yeah? Um... But good morning again, everybody, now that we are a little more settled, a little into the stream here. Uh, I am Katharina Game. We are here for a crafty day in. It is a community over competition event with 38 plus vendors in it. Very cool. I highly recommend going to the website, acraftydayin.com or exclamation point crafty. Thank you, Illy. Man, you are on point. Appreciate you. Now I've lost my train of thought. Website crafters in the website. Go check out their their stuff. Uh, they have so many cool things. I love being able to go to crafting events online. 
and be safe and, you know, not have to worry about the craziness that the the pandemic has done. Uh, it's really fun to be able to hang out with people and have streams with crafty stuff when, uh, when we all kind of got shut down last year. So I really enjoyed being a part of this. This is my third time. Uh, last year, Black Friday was my first one. And I was so excited to be a part of it. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing then. I was like, yeah, mm, crafty day in. I want to be a part of that. I can sell my perler beads. That'll be fun. And now I'm like, yeah, I want to see more people. It was fun. It's good stuff. You are working on the gingerbread house pin some more. Ooh. Very, very cool, very cool. Uh, Graceful Dawn was the one that raided us this morning. She repurposes old jewelry into new fancy jewelry. It is fascinating to watch her work. Highly recommend checking out her streams. At the end of my stream today, we're going to the Raymond Pond. They do crochet uh, and are very fun to watch if you enjoy chill, crafty things and, you know, just chatting to people. They are a lovely person to go follow as well. That's who we're going to go to eventually. That's where we're going, you know, in, in two hours as long as I don't fall asleep. I mean, what? Hi, Dawn. I, you, you're wonderful. You didn't hear nothing. Appa! <laughs> Alright, Dawn, have a good time. Appa, yip, yip, how are you? Good morning. Yes, uh, 7 a.m. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Did you get that coffee in your system? <laughs> Yes, Illy, Illy is my temp mod today because I wasn't sure who was going to be awake. So I was like, hey, Illy, you mind, you know, just I just need you to click the button from time to time. I just need you to do the thing if you don't mind. <laughs> Honorary mod for crafty day in raids. We're making her bow. He's very good at doing the commands and the shout outs. Hi, Aiko. Aiko, have you gotten your coffee yet, you lovely sweet thing? And teasing streamers? Listen, we are a family friendly stream today. Well, we are every day. I don't know why I said today. <laughs> it's brewing. Um, but I, uh, I got into Perler Beads, uh, about two years ago. Well, back into Perler Beads, I should say, when I found Art Cool Beads. Um, Art Cool Beads are the type that I'm using here. They have a lot of different colors, a lot more colors than normal Perlers. Because I wanted to get into, like, video game coloring and, and that kind of stuff, and... If you use just perler beads, there's not as many color variations. So that's why I chose to go with Art Cool and I purchased all 187 different colors and I have organized them. And now I am able to make very large, intricate patterns that are very cool. I have a lot of fun with it. Yeah, what event do you have to go to today, Pearl? And I hope your breakfast is yummy. Thank 
They're very relaxing. Um, I I enjoy crafting stuff because it's like um. You can, especially if you're streaming it, right? Like you can kind of just follow the pattern and talk to chat and have a very relaxed, chill morning. That's what I like about it. Small business Saturday event. Ooh, that's cool. Well, I hope you have fun there and be safe. There was a there was a craft fair in my area a couple weeks ago and I went to it just to kind of check it out but it it wasn't really crafty stuff it was more like baked goods and I was like oh I wanted to see a lot of crafty stuff I mean there was some but there wasn't as much as like in the past when you've gone to a craft fair And now we get to hang out with people all day and see their crafty stuff. Love it. Is there a picture of the current project somewhere? Yes. It, right here. I got it. I got it right here. <laughs> not on the screen, though. No, not on the screen. Welcome back, Don. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I agree, Pearl. I agree. I am excited to to start going back to IRL craft fairs. But I uh, I am still taking it slow and not like just jumping into it all willy nilly. Thank you. So this is called a VN uh, a PNG VTuber model. Uh, basically you set it to where anytime your mic goes off, your character opens their mouth. And it's cute. <laughs> Thank you, Abba. This is actually, she's in a, a sock uh, for the Christmas event. And uh, I, I created a bunch of these for all of my other VTuber friends. Uh, we are all on we are all on a mantle together so that whenever we do collab streams we are all in our own little uh, our own little stockings above a fireplace and it kind of pops and it's adorable thank you botcath also botcath <laughs> you're silly because you're putting that last line on a different one it's fine Thank you. I became a VTuber back in August. I have a, a 3D model as well as, a, as as PNG models. It's way too early to have a tiny human stick crayons in my face. Uh-oh. <laughs> but I want to color things. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny human getting caught up in crafty day spirit. Hey, heck yeah, there you go. BK, you should be super proud. Be like, yeah. Eventually they're gonna they're gonna join the crafty day in raid train, yeah? One day. All right, Dawn, have a good lurk. My cat would make a mess of the beads. Yeah, my cat is actually locked out of this room because I, I cannot have them jumping up on here and touching things because everything would break. 
Uh, she brought out a pink crayon and shoves it in my face and goes, did you know I have a, I had a Barbie pink mom? <laughs> Welcome back, ASD guy. How you doing? You are proud, just too early to have crayons in your face. That's fair. That's fair. Many of the reasons you don't have pets, beads everywhere, for sure. Luckily, I have a door to my crafty room, so I don't have to stress about it. The Raymond Pond, thank you so much for that host. We'll be seeing you in about an hour 40. You have no place to lock her in or out of. You have a bedroom in your living room and your all their work stuff's in the living room. That's fair. I, my crafty stream is downstairs, so I have the door to the basement to shut. But my cat has full reign of the upstairs while I'm down here. So it's not like I'm putting him in a tiny room. I am doing fantastic. Uh, not gonna lie, this is a, a little earlier than I'm used to being awake on a Saturday. Uh, but uh, I am totally here and ready to go. Normally we stream uh, at 5 p.m. Central, so 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, that's, that's what we normally stream. And my crafty streams are on Sundays and Wednesdays. How are how art thou today, ASD guy? Have you purchased many things and is your wallet now empty like mine is? You're always awake this time on Saturday, despite wanting to. Ah, farmer's market vendor. I see. I get you. I got you. Didn't get much rest. Was up till 1.30 a.m. <laughs> uh, but what kind of stream do I normally do on Saturdays? Well, normally I have a community stream in the evening where I hang out with everybody and just play games, you know, online with everybody. Uh... But I also like to do random stuff in the mornings, like this here, which I think is pretty cool. Ah. BK, I have a door to my craft room, but you don't like to lock the mini out of it unless you are actively streaming. Fair. That's very fair. Living that work and artist life. <laughs> What can I help you with, ASD guy? I like to do the outline first. It makes it a lot easier to color it in later. <laughs> you use small sauce containers for now for your perler beads and wondering what kind of organizer you work would work going forward. Uh, I use these. Um, I like the triangle pattern because you can kind of shake it and they'll they'll fall into where you want them to be. Um, but I also use mini beads and the triangular pattern holds a lot. It I don't do you use normal beads or mini beads?
Also, if you want to see a picture of still new to you, so here is a picture of my organization on the wall over there. So these are all of my beads in individual containers on my wall that's over there. It's over there. So I have all of mine in individual containers. Each of them is labeled. And these are the colors I'm currently using that are pulled out in front of me. Hello, good morning, Mary. It's good to see you. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, maybe. <laughs> So that I bought off of Amazon. Um, I can get you a link. It's just it's just craft drawers. It wasn't anything fancy. Uh, let's see. Uh, you've acquired coffee? Congrats, Iko. Congrats. Yeah, I would assume having that many containers would be hectic. So, what you're going to be looking for is uh, this is a Acro Mills 64 drawer plastic park storage. Um, and so just go to Amazon and type in 64 drawer plastic storage, and it'll probably pop up pretty quick. You're finishing up TVK? That's fair. Get it. I assume you pull out the specific colors you need in preparation for a project. Yes. I currently have all of the colors that I need set off to the side right now. And I can just kind of pull them and use them. Oh, you are most welcome. Any questions you have about perler beads, I am happy to answer. Um, I do, if, if you want a lot of like quick links, um, I do have a Discord where I put all of my resources inside my Discord in the Crafty channel. So everything that I use on stream, from my tape to my tweezers, um, to the storage containers and the dividers that I use, it is in my Discord in the Crafty channel under resources. Um, so everything that I use, you can click a link to go purchase it yourself. Because I use things like frog tape um, with everything, because frog tape is really nice to use. It's like a painter's tape when you're pulling it off of the board. And... Uh, I, I prefer the bent nose tip, so resources in the Discord has a link to literally everything that I own for crafting. <laughs> Luckily, I don't frog a lot of things. That's that. That's mostly for cross stitchers. Ah, <laughs> thank you, Mary. You're cool. And, and talking about cool stuff, did you know that we have exclamation point crafty to learn more about this crafty day in event? It's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, since when? I know. A crafty day in is really freaking cool. Uh, they've been doing this for a while now. 
It is 38 current uh, vendors in this particular one. Uh, we've had we've had quite a few in the past of different random people. Totally go check them out at a craftydayin.com. Lovely people, all of them. Bewick, it's okay. I couldn't think this morning when I was talking to Illy. I was like, Illy, I need your assistance. What time is it for you? Where are we? Vanishing Pearl cheered. <laughs> X50. Show love one 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 show love I was on Twitter and I lost my Twitch tab. Uh oh. You broke it, you did. Text to speech goes brr. It's okay. It's also waking up. <laughs> Love one chair. That's exactly what I heard too. <laughs> you didn't know I had that enabled? I did. It's fine. I'm not stressed about it. <laughs> it's it's funny. It's funny when that happens. Oh, also, while I'm thinking about it, on a Crafty Day in on that link that you guys just did a second ago, you can go purchase event merch, if that is something you are interested in. Uh, all purchases go towards the upkeep of the website, since it is a whole bunch of volunteers doing all of the work um, to make sure that everyone can have a fun, relaxed, safe Crafty Day event. Um, so totally check that out if you are interested in supporting the lovely members like Dawn in getting uh, in getting this event started every year. Thank you, Dawn. Appreciate you. You gotta go. It is all good, Pearl. Have a lovely day. We'll see you later. You need to go make coffee. Get that coffee, BK. Get it. I will. I will be here trying to get this outline done thank you pearl purple gem purple gem aww but in corner soul kitten cheered x100 kath just wanted to remind you that you are amazing i'm so happy to have met you so oh, thank you cut. so much, Iko. You are a lovely person as well. I appreciate you popping in here so early this morning. I I was afraid that all of my normal DGen friends who I hang out with at night are gonna be like, "You want me to be where? When? Excuse you? Who are you?" <laughs> and I'm very happy to see you. <laughs> We are one bead off. Hang on, I gotta fix. Oop, there we go. You're usually awake at this time, just not alive. That's fair. Time zones cut me a break today. <laughs> there you go. It was so funny this morning, Illy. I was like, okay, what is midday? What, what time is that? I need, I need numbers, Illy. I need numbers. <laughs> My brain could not comprehend.
You have four boards and not doing preset things anymore? Awesome. I think I have like 20 boards. East Coast gives me an extra hour. Heck yeah. My friends in uh, California, it's, <laughs> they are not awake yet, I'm sure. You normally speak in 24-hour clock, so I just imagine if I had told you I was busy at 1600. Listen, my father was military. I understand 24-hour speak. That I would have I would have comprehended, okay? I just needed numbers and you were giving me words. I could not <laughs> couldn't focus on words. You have a cat, dog, and marine ones. Ooh, cute. I have just the one cat now. He is my baby. He is an orange fluff ball of doom and destruction. Okay. I put your legs in the wrong spot. Darn it. Hold on. <laughs> you have just a doggo at the moment. He is a grumpy old man. Aw, precious baby. There we go. The cats got out of bed a few minutes before me, so you came out today, they were waiting for breakfast. Oh no, so I bought a, a automatic cat feeder for my cat because he's a, he's a little, a little on the chunky side. So I'm trying to reduce his calorie intake. Uh, so he is on, he is on a auto feeder well, I come out this morning and he's meowing and he's meowing and I'm like, did you already eat all of your food? What is this? And I go over there and I look at it and I go, oh, I think your food thing's empty this morning. <laughs> so I had to refeed him. He was unhappy. Since it's holiday time, you put those away. Ah. Is cool, is cool. We have done, we've done a lot of different things. Uh, if you go to my Instagram account, so just go to exclamation point social. You can, you can see all of some of my previous projects that we've been working on. Just, just normal social, not, not with an S. I, I think. I'm pretty sure. There you go. So if you go to my Instagram account, you'll see a lot of my past projects. Also, these up here in the corner are previous ones that I've made that are kind of rotating through. With two, you don't try to bother portion control. I fe I feel that. I, uh, I am, I don't have to worry about that. I just have the one baby. All right, we're going to put her skin on chat. Hold on. Thank 
you. I like doing big, intricate ones. I think those are fun. I, I have one over here that's over my computer. Hang on. That I really like. I think this is one of my favorite ones that I've done. This one's hanging over my computer all the time. Thought it was really pretty. Another thing with the beads that I use, since I use Artco soft beads, um, they're a little different than the normal perler beads because normal perler beads, you really can't bend them without snapping them, right? But if my soft beads allow you to have a lot of flexibility with the pattern, so there is a less chance that you're going to snap it. Um, so this particular one, you can almost completely bend it all in on itself and it will not snap. Art cool soft beads are what I use. Do not try to do that with normal perler beads. You will break it. <laughs> <laughs> and I stress everyone out when I do that. I'm sorry, Mary. You want to get those cat feeders that are tied to chips or collar tags? Uh, yes, that sounds like that would be pretty fun. That way they only get fed when they're, they're too close. They are very expensive. My auto cat feeder was only like 50 bucks. But still, that's quite a bit. It's for multiple cat owners, so it will only open for a certain cat. Ah, I see, I see. Noted. Okay. 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 You messed my last one up and should have done some more borders. You didn't have red. So for my borders, um, I do also have clear beads. Uh, the clear beads allow me to do um, more intricate designs without the black outline. Uh, but the clear beads will kind of keep everything in place. So I have I have a ton of clear beads specifically for that. But not everybody likes to use the clear beads because it does give it a essentially a border. But just the plain black outline is fine too. I 
I bought a bag of 50,000 black beans, so I never run out of the, the black border if I needed it. Back with coffee. Welcome back. I hope your coffee is hot and delicious. You posted two in personal share? Thank you. I will take a gander at them after stream. Hot and caramel flavor. Ooh. Ooh. Mary, you already spent enough money on veterinarian food. That's fair. <laughs> and Zant gives you sass. Oh, I'm not going to critique. Art is all objective anyway, right? Insert, I like my coffee, the say I like my women joke, but I don't drink coffee. <laughs> oh, Mary. You made coffee before stream and it's dead now. You drink way too much coffee. Go get more coffee, Illy. The way I type is good. Yes. He has no soul. You had tea this morning. Usually have multiple coffee, but needed tea for headache. Yeah, I I don't really like coffee. Uh, I don't enjoy the taste. I'm sorry. I know that's blasphemer to you all who are, are heavy coffee drinkers, but I prefer tea, like a black spiced chai tea. I think those are pretty good. Soulless Sailor Scouts, yes. Is a tea drinker. Excellent. High five. <laughs> tea drinkers over here. You like coffee crisp chocolate bars? You had a G Fuel? I, I know a lot of people are sponsored by G Fuel, but I've never had one. I'm not a big fan of, of energy drinks, personally. Okay, we have all of her skin on. Excellent. They're delicious. You love the strawberry shortcake? Wait. There is a strawberry shortcake G Fuel? Excuse me? They don't have the normal flavors like orange and blue raspberry. They have strawberry shortcake. That sounds interesting.
It's got the same amount of caffeine as a large cup of coffee. There's a lot of flavors. You have a coffee one, a strawberry shortcake one, a pineapple one, a twisted candy one, and others. How interesting. I was looking at some of the other Crafty Day vendors and was wondering why are all the prices given in pounds. Turns out Etsy thought I was British. <laughs> Whoopsie. Think you'll stick to water? I like flavored drinks. I I have a, a flavor uh, kiwi strawberry that I put in my water sometimes. It's pretty good. Did you, did you find anything you like, Bewick? There were a lot of things that I really enjoyed looking at. Breakfast cleanup, get it. That was the only one I was going to be awake enough to stream yesterday. Oh, this is the only way you were going to be able to wait, be awake enough. That's fair. That's fair. You already gave up soda because you're old. <laughs> it's okay. I have, I have water this morning. I don't even have any coffee or tea. It's just straight liquid water, man. Straight liquid water. <laughs> You don't drink soda often unless it's zero sugar. Yeah. All, all of mine are zero sugar whenever I do want one as well. <laughs> Word. I drink a lot of uh, buy and diet Snapple peach in addition to your water. Fair, fair. You drink water, coffee, and fruit juice. That's fair. I drink water, tea, and tea. Hot tea and cold tea. Depending on my mood. You take water, tea, and a cup of orange juice in the morning. Ooh. Depending on the morning, it's usually coffee or G Fuel. Most of the day, it's water. Very nice. Uh, I usually just drink water. Uh, I have, like, a jug of sweet tea in the fridge if I need cold tea. But it's mostly been water nowadays. Or at least flavored water. We're putting her bow on. Oop, there we go. Mm. 
Thank you, Illy. Thank you. We have we have her hair and her orange skirt and stuff to put on still. While we are nearing the top of the hour, <laughs> I'm going to drink some water because my voice just cracked. You have an energy drink if it's a work day. That's fair. Uh, please remember we are doing a crafty day in fair today. Exclamation point crafty for more information about that. Uh, one thing I haven't talked about very much is my own craft store. So if you do exclamation point Etsy, uh, that goes to my craft store where um, the things that I post up on there are things that I have already made or they are uh, made to order kind of things. So you can easily create some of those. Um, I do have a request, but you have to DM me directly for those if there's something you ever wanted to have made. I can totally do that for you. You just gotta let me know what you want and we, we make it happen kind of thing. Time for her to put her wig on. I mean, do her hair. <laughs> exactly. I think I actually messed up the bow a little bit. Hang on. Oh no, I'm gonna sneeze. Excuse me, so sorry. Thank you. Oh, I see what I did wrong. There we go. Okay, I fixed it. What's what's wrong, Mary? You know, I have to admit, I love how just one or two beads can really express a lot. I know, right? That is, that is pixel art, and I love pixel art. You have to leave for work now? Hey, no stress, Masked Bandit. Have a lovely rest of your day. Be safe at work, and we will see you guys later. Thanks so much for popping into the Crafty Day Raid. <laughs> I, I am making Venus, yes. Ha, ha, ha.
But my bad, Mary. My bad. We will probably get her done by the end of stream. I mean, we don't have that much left to do. <laughs> one day, Mary, one day. You have so much hair, Venus. Your hair takes up like your entire body. to the anime too venus does have a lot of hair she does gosh darn it your child my leg hurts also my child hangs off chair jumps around me your legs hurt because of what you're doing think of the consequences of your actions Thank you, Botcalf. Thank you for reminding us about a crafty day in. I appreciate you, Botcalf. There we go. Okay, hair highlights are done. Or, I guess, shade. Not the highlights. Still funny how she predates Sailor Moon, but then Usagi decided to be the main character. Yeah. Your niece and nephew are like nine months and 14 months, and you're not looking forward to like two years when they're little terrors. Uh-oh. They're still young and adorable right now. Enjoy it. You'll be fine. You'll probably be fine. Probably. <laughs> Your mini is five and very hyper. Cute. Hey, have a good lurk, Raymond Pond. We will see you in an hour. Peace out.
Some days she's like percent kids in a body. Five, not percent. Oh, I was like, I'm confused. I'm gonna go with it though. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes typing is hard, okay? We're gonna blame it on, we're gonna blame it on it's Saturday morning, and we're just here to relax, not to type. <laughs> Word. Words are hard. <laughs> More coffee in my blood. It wasn't until I had a Sailor Moon enthusiastic roommate that I learned that Venus had her own comic. Yeah, she did. It was very cool. I, I own all of the mangas and comics of her. I think Venus was a much more uh, useful character. But also you have to consider that Venus, I mean, it was her job to originally be the leader of the Scouts. And then Sailor Moon was raised as a scout so she kind of took over venus's leader role on accident you got the christmas lights strung up on venus almost on decorating nice you've seen the anime and that is all fair sailor moon is a spin-off of sailor v kind of she was not originally the leader of the sailor scouts She was the princess that they protected. Give up on typing. It's okay. I don't stress about the typing. Hello, Tungsten Fire. Good to see you. Zippy Nightmare, thank you so much for that follow. Hope you're having a great Saturday so far. I am doing absolutely fantastic, Tungsten Fire. We are in the middle of a crafty day in fair. Uh, it is a 38 vendor online craft fair that we are doing. It's a crafty day raid train. So all day today, I am part of a fun community of crafters who are selling all of their stuff online. Most of us have sales through the weekend. So anytime you want to look in their stores a lot of us have sales and discounts or like the black friday stuff um, but if you ever want some of those handmade gifts for christmas presents or things like that craft fairs i love finding presents at craft fairs so take a look at their website take a look at everyone's stuff it's a lot of fun oh good morning zippy nightmare good morning thanks so much for popping in hanging out appreciate you yeah, I, this is my third time participating. Everyone is so nice, lovely people. Please go check them out. Uh, this is actually where I usually get a lot of my gifts every year for Christmas for family members. So, you know, I also partake of it. But I am also selling uh, some of my perler beads as well on exclamation point Etsy. If you wanted to purchase like these Sailor Scouts are for sale in my shop. Uh, most of my things in my shop are made after you order. Unless I, I have it in stock. Um, but usually I'm pretty quick to make them within a week or so. And then get it mailed out to you. Hot, fresh, ready to order. <laughs> Made to order. You're welcome. Illy, Illy is on point. Uh, I also do custom orders for Perler Beads, but you'd have to message me directly because depending on the size would depend on the cost. 
Uh, I have gotten pretty decent at, at terraforming emotes into Perler Beads. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, after these Sailor Scouts, my next project I'm going to be working on is something for Kid. Uh, Kid requested one of my emotes to be made, and I'll be mailing that to him. Appa, I have not forgotten you. <laughs> I still have yours over there. I will get it to you, I promise. I will do that this afternoon, actually, while I'm thinking about it. The or urge to order a Rin Please Perler is intensifying. I could do it. It would be a lot of money, though, because you're way overseas, and they charge a lot in shipping. So it wouldn't be cheap to ship it overseas. You think that a flying bison wouldn't have so much trouble? But Illy, if that is something you're interested in, we can talk. Message me after stream. See what I could do, get you a little something put together. You ain't going nowhere, no rush. All right, as long as you don't move across the country or disappear into some witness protection program, we should be good. Well, ASD guy, I hope your back gets better. Back pain is, is so frustrating. I feel that. I was in a car accident a while back. Uh, and ever since then, when it rains, my back is very unhappy. Good morning, Starry Prince. How y'all managed to be ready to stream this early in the AM? <laughs> Good morning, sorry, Prince. I am actually part of a online craft fair this morning. Um, exclamation point, exclamation point, crafty for the information. It is a really fun event. 38 vendors. Uh, it We created, well, I didn't create it. I'm part of a community that created the online craft fair for people during the pandemic. You know, we could hang out online and not actually have to go to craft fairs. Uh, and we kind of illy <laughs> but we sell all the things online totally go check out everybody because they have a lot of really fun stuff that they made if you ever need presents everyone i think is doing random sales this weekend due to do the black friday so check them out maybe find a present or two for somebody for the holiday season coming up uh and we're doing a crafty day raid train all day so once I'm done here, I'm going to send you guys over to the uh, crafty Raymond Pond. Sorry, brain. <laughs> I'm going to send you guys over and it's going to keep going all day for all different people doing crafty stuff. Not just purlers, cross stitching, crochet, beadwork, all the fun stuff today is going to be in my crafty raid train. Words are hard this early in the morning. Sorry, Raven Pond. I'm so sorry. I was like, 
I can see your name in my brain. How do I get that out of my mouth? <laughs> Aw, thank you. But I'm mostly here. Like, I totally have a store. Exclamation point Etsy. But I love supporting my friends as well. And I know that I can kind of push all of my friends over to that. And you just ch check everybody out. Okay, I feel that too. It's like, no, Raymond, I saw it. I, literally, your name was in my brain. I could see you. And I was like, how do I say that? <laughs> I need some tea in the morning. I totally have a store. Makes it sound like you do not, in fact, have a store. <laughs> I totally have a store, you guys. I promise. It's there. Go look at it. I swear it's there. <laughs> Question of the day. Who is your favorite Animal Crossing villager? Hmm. Cherry. I like cherry. You're making a digital art today? Nice, nice. Thank you, Bodcast. My promotional skills need work? Wait. How dare. You would normally say Rosie, but you've been loving Cookie lately. Oh, I have Cookie as well. I know he's brand new, but I'm in love with Sasha. Oh, I haven't seen a lot of the new ones. Okay, all right. Listen, Mary, I think I'm pretty good at promoting things when I want to. You've only seen the Robot Octo? Ah, fair. You love Raymond, but you also love Sasha, Sterling, and Zell. Good morning, Alextria. How are you, dear? Thank you for waking up before 9 a.m. and popping into my stream, darling. You are fantastic and I appreciate you. I did recruit you. <laughs> I, I was like, Illy, all I need you to do is do exclamation point crafty and exclamation point SO if we get stuff. That's all I need. Please. Please. <laughs> Ribbon you, pulling your leg. <laughs> oh, Mary, you're such a joker. <laughs> Thank you, Raymond Pond. Yes, crafty day in. Head on over to the website to browse 38 amazing small businesses. A Crafty Day Inn is a community over competition virtual craft fair put together as a response to COVID-19 shutdowns of in-person craft fairs. Pick up limited edition official merch at etsy.com slash shop slash a crafty day in. These items are limited supply, so grab one while you still can. Yen, yen. How was that? Was that good promotion? <laughs> oh, Mary, you're fine. You would love to see me stream Animal Crossing sometime? 
I haven't streamed Animal Crossing in a very long time. I also don't own the DLC. So I don't have all the cool new stuff. Hair is finished. Mm. I have an Elgato stream thing. Yes, I do. That's actually that's actually how I'm streaming on my camera. My camera is hooked into my my Elgato capture card. You got up to get water, but I'm going to assume that you didn't promote anything while I was gone. <sighs> Mary. Listen, Mary. If I wasn't part of a crafty day in Raid Train right now. <laughs> I, what are you talking about? I played Pokemon last night. What are you talking about? That gives me some major ideas for collabs in the future. Heck yeah! Do it. Bother me. I like I like streaming with people. I am a people person. Probably. Why a people person chat? Do I seem like a person that peoples? <laughs> Why a person that peoples? What a strange way to say that. You do seem like a person that peoples. Eh, more than me, but less than some. You can people if I want to. You can people if you want to. That's all right. As long as I'm here for a crafty day in. Man, have you guys seen these other 38 vendors? They are awesome. I watched their streams yesterday. I'm sorry, I was saying that really sassy. Like, I did watch their streams yesterday. And it was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed lurking in, in those channels, and I was able to actually raid them yesterday morning, too, randomly, because I was doing a morning stream. But I love them. They're fantastic. I did not mean to start that being sassy. I apologize. You guys are lovely. <laughs> oh, no. I need the orange. Where's my orange? Hold on. You're scared your child is talking to herself, cackling and saying she's an evil witch? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's, it's way past Halloween, BK. What's going on there? She says she was just playing. <laughs> Isn't that how I got started? Saying I was an evil witch? What? I've never been evil. I have always been kind.
Kind of sassy. So do you have any leafy magic or windy magic? No, I am just a normal person who uses herbs to make potions. I was cackling and saying I'm a good witch. I mean... <laughs> I am an herbalist. That is my character, the green witch. She is an herbalist. There we go. All done, chat. All done. Do, 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 do. Ileana, thank you so much for saying a crafty day in. Appreciate you guys. Totally. Everybody, check them out. Check out all of the other crafters. We have finished Venus now. Uh, we're actually, wait, hold on. All right. I... Uh, now we're finished. <laughs> I forgot her jewel in the center of her head. My bad. She is beautiful. I love her. She's precious. Precious! Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to tape her and then we are going to melt the ones that we have together. And that'll be all that we have time for today. So let's get her taped. I prefer it had to be me. Somebody else might have gotten it wrong. <laughs> Appa. And so if you've never done perlers before, what we're doing right now is we will be taping her. And the reason you tape them is to pull them off of the board. And the reason you want to pull them off of the board is that if you melt them directly on the board, eventually the board will start to warp and then you have to buy new boards. So it's cheaper to simply tape and pull them off of the board before you melt so that you can save your boards.
then we just pull off and she's good and usually I like to trim them up so they don't stick to stuff on the other side There we go. All right, so here are the five we worked on over the last couple days that I'm going to melt for you. Uh, let me get my iron real quick. All right, my iron is warming up. We use a uh, Cricut flat iron. It's a lot easier than using an actual iron because you just get to sit it on top and it melts and you're done, essentially. Poor Sailor Scout's getting melted. <laughs> While I'm waiting on my iron to heat up, uh, once more, guys, please definitely check out the Crafty Day Inn website. It's still directly up there. Um, 38 different vendors. They're fantastic. Lovely people. Definitely. The, uh, uh, look in their craft stores. A lot of them have sales for, throughout the weekend to the 30th, I believe most people have. Um, yeah. I love them. They're fantastic. <laughs> I had more to say and then my brain shut down. Uh, now what I do since I do stream is I use a, uh, a pad so that I can easily melt and everything under the camera. Adjust my air. Here we go. So essentially I have a, a nice hot pad here so it doesn't damage my table. And then I have my character. We have our iron tape and set her right here. Now a lot of uh, a lot of irons are different and everything. I just have mine set to the lowest setting and I set it right on top, 30 seconds. Let it count down. And then once 30 seconds are up, we're gonna take it off. Flip it over, remove the tape, put more paper on it, and melt the other side. Some people melt perlers just on the one side, and usually that's fine. Um, but this one, as you can see, it was melted on both sides. My beads have to be melted on both sides because the mini perlers are a little more difficult to just me melt on one side. So I usually melt on both, just, just so that it's a nice consistency. Exactly, Illy, exactly. Melting can be extremely stressful for those that have not melted perler beads before. I would suggest making little square blocks of color and then testing your iron on those. Instead of, instead of doing like your very first melting being an actual project, do just blocks of color. That way you can kind of experiment to see how hot you need to make iron. 
and where you need to be. <laughs> All right, ASD guy. Yeah, melt swatches. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you, Bewick. So you can see that she is nice and melted now. And I'm going to put her under a heavy book so that she doesn't curl. That's usually what you want to do. I'm going to put her under a book. Give me a second. And we will now melt four. Pretty simple. Your mini says, whoa. <laughs> yes, that, that's the fun part of the beads. And we're going to do two at once. Probably it'll be fine. I'm going to this way. That's better. That's a better idea. Oh, you are most welcome. If you ever have any more questions, feel free to ask in my Discord or my chats. I am happy to answer any questions of new crafters. You may have to get her some of the kids' kits. Do it. They have a ton out there. I would definitely just start with normal perler beads, though. Um, but you may need to help with the ironing part. I think we're all new <laughs> until we die. We're not all old hats until we've done something a thousand times. Purple gem, purple gem. Hey, Appa! But in corner. A pay one pi one p cheered. X100. Man, for the last 45 minutes I've been saying out loud. Purple gem, purple gem. <laughs> Appa, thank you so much for the 100 biddies. I appreciate you so much. So soon. And one second. Are you heading out, ASD guy? All right, have a lovely time. We will catch you later. Yeah. Sometimes the beads move a little bit after you melt and you have to adjust. We're fine, I fixed, I fixed. You would totally be doing the iron part. Yeah, yeah. This makes it so much easier. I used to have the tiniest little iron. I don't remember if you guys in who were here in the before times remember my tiny little iron before I got this baby. Oh man, it took us so long to melt things. Oh, I'd love to see that, Mary. looks good all right and I put it under my book <laughs> all right 
right, here is our other one. She is all nice and finished. And now I can hold her. This is what we all just did together. This is the one that we did. And she is finished. Yeah. Let's melt two more. Then we'll have the whole family together. Almost to the roof of the gingerbread house. Nice. I love gingerbread houses. While we're waiting for this to melt, everybody, please, once more, check out a acraftydayin.com. Illy so kindly posted the link directly above you. 38 amazing small business owners. We will be doing a full crafty train raid, raid train today, all day. We'll be uh, continuing this one in about 20, less than 20 minutes. I will be sending you over to another crafter. Uh, and please check them out. Hang out in their chats. Engage with them today. They are all absolutely lovely people. The melting process is, eh, you can ruin things by doing the melting process, but as long as you don't leave it on the, under the iron too long, it's probably fine. I know, this iron is amazing. You just set it on top and it does all the work for you. It is a very, very hot, regular, flat iron. Yes, it looks melted. <laughs> sort of medical machine. <laughs> Yeah, the, the steam irons are not very useful for uh, perler beads, only because... Oh, okay. See you later, Tungsten. Thanks for popping in. It was my book, sorry. I was putting them into. We appreciate you popping in tungsten. See you later. We have Venus and Sailor Moon and Mercury. The other two, they're currently sitting here so that they don't warp. But we are doing good. I've turned off my iron. I, uh, this was as much as I was going to do today, at least for the Crafty Day in Raid. Uh, but I can explain a little bit more about what we have. Um, if you like pixel art and things like that, uh, what you could do is if you wanted to get into art cool beads like I am, um, you can... Arkle has all of the bead colors set in a program, so you can easily import them into varying design programs if you wanted to, so you could have the exact color that all the beads are, and then using those colors, you can design your own pixel art uh, and then convert it into perler bead patterns. You can also take video game art and uh, convert that into the same color palette as the rest of them. For instance, like Link. You could convert Link into stuff. This is from A Link to the Past, one of his uh, one his one of his little thingies. Um, you can also do cute little thingies like this cat, uh, and just kind of have fun with it. 
Perler beads are an extremely fun way of expressing yourself, but pixel art is is fun. Even if you don't do perler beads, I love pixel art. So if this is something, if this kind of design is something that you enjoy, totally look into pixel art. Totally look into doing perler beads because you can turn your own art into easily created holdable items that are fun to give away as gifts or, you know, whatever else you want to do with them. If they should be done. Uh, Susan Lee, thank you so much for that follow. Good morning. How you doing today? Welcome in. We are in the middle of our crafty day in raid train. Appreciate you popping in here. I do. If you ever need um, the equipment deets, it is all in my Discord, so you are more than welcome. I have a full resource guide that you can kind of look at, see all the things that I make and use, and totally kind of go take a look at all of that nonsense. <laughs> yes, we created Sailor Moons. I converted these from pixel art. These were, these were originally pixel art that I converted into perler beads. I didn't make the cats yet. But I, I will be making the cats. But these are available for sale in my shop. Exclamation point Etsy. If you want to purchase a set for yourself. Uh, it does come with the cats. The set comes with the cats. Not just the uh, the Sailor Scouts. But it's just the five. I don't have the full set. Just the five Sailor Scouts on there. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but yeah. This is what we do. We I sell a lot of other stuff. I also do like kitty keychains. So like this is one of the kitty cats I have. Um, and you can have this turned into a keychain. Uh, I've, I've sold this one a, a few times to my friends. They really enjoy it. Cute little babies. Um, I do video game pixel art as well. Um, I have done bigger pieces than this, obviously. The giant fairy from A Link to the Past and many other things. You can kind of see all of my old projects up here in the top left. All of the other things that we kind of filter through. You're doing Sailor Moon crochet tapestry. Ooh. I love Sailor Moon. It's my absolute favorite thing in the world. <laughs> Here is a, here's a sailor suit that I did. Because these, these scouts' suits, they're kind of tall, small. But I, I really enjoyed making the suit. This was cute. This was a pattern I found on Etsy from somebody that I used. Your first anime was Sailor Moon? Fair. Uh, I believe the first show that I recognized as anime was Sailor Moon. Yes. You need to get one of those suits for yourself. <laughs> Do it. You're doing a silhouette Sailor Moon. Nice. That's going to look really pretty. I, uh, if this isn't Sailor Moon, but it's a moon theme. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna be ginormous. Oh my gosh. That's actually why I use mini beads. Because normal perler beads, this is the size of a normal perler bead. And if you uh if you take the size that I'm using and kind of like put it on top. This this is the bead that I use on top of another bead of normal perlers. So you can see that I use a, a bead that's half the size. You want my moon? No, it's my moon. You can't have it. Maybe. I, I can put it for sale in my store, though, if you really want it, Don. Do you lick it? Is, do you lick this? Is this one yours? Do you call dibs? <laughs> uh, it's funny. You can't remember the actual size? That's fair. That's fair. If you guys don't know Graceful Dawn, they are lovely people. One of the event organizers. Please go check them out. She's the one that started our lovely raid train this morning. She 
I don't know how you did it. I don't know how you were there this morning. <laughs> I don't know how you were awake. <laughs> but she started our lovely raid train today. And here in a couple minutes, we will be heading on over to the Raymond Pond. Uh, where they will be continuing the crafty day in raid train. Uh, in my store on Etsy.com, I am having a discount on my perler items throughout the weekend. But if you ever have something you want made, you can message me directly in Discord and I can give you a price because it just depends on what size it's going to end up being. Because a lot of people, what they don't realize is that items that are extremely large take like a lot of beads. Uh, uh, pictures these days have to be converted into much smaller sizes. Um, because even just this, this is less than 40 pixels tall, and most pictures are like thousands of pixels tall. So that's just something you have to consider when we're converting stuff into making perler beads and things. You lick all of the things? Oh my gosh. Thank you, Illy. You are on top of that today. I appreciate you. Uh, does anybody have any questions about perler beads themselves? I've been doing this for a while, so I can I can answer questions that y'all got, or whatever you need. You want to share your crochet tapestry project? Do it! Share it! I allow links in my chat. Let me see what you got. Do you have a link to it directly? Or you can put it in the Discord, in the, the private art share, if you would like. Because I know you said that you had the Sailor Moon pattern, which is fantastic. Over there. Here we go. This is the schedule for today. As you can see, I was the second person. We will be going to the Raymond Pond here in just a second, but we are doing a raid train all day. So please, if you if you want to just hang out in Discord, watch all of these lovely people. They did a full raid train yesterday, but I'm part of the Saturday crew. I I I love the Saturday crew more because I'm part of it, so I'm biased. But here's everybody that will be there today. Totally go check them out. You got the pattern, but you haven't done it. You're at your fifth. Ah, I see. I don't know much about crochet. I I just, I watch people do it. You're my friendly conductor for the day. Thank you, Graceful Dawn. Thank you. Choo-choo, conductor train. Do you have... I have the raid announcement. Do you have it? Personal art share? Yeah, personal art share. It's in my Discord. No, I don't. I didn't have it. I know Dawn had one earlier. I have it here. Hold on. Okay, I have it ready to go. You restarted your computer so you lost it. I have it, Dawn. It's all good. Once the Raymond Pond goes live, I will post it and we can all copy it. Actually, I'll post it now and you can get ready to copy it. I'm just waiting for them to go live. There you go, Dawn. That way you can, you can save it to your clipboard again since you had to restart your computer. And Don, I want to say thank you so much for letting me be a part of this this fair again. I always have fun. I I love being able to hang out with you guys during the stream and everything. You guys are fantastic. I I can't usually 
you know, chill with you in the Discord that often because I am very busy. But I love being part of this community. We're just gonna... So if you guys haven't seen it yet, this is the website. If you pull it up on your phone, you can see like all of the vendors and everybody who's currently, hey, look, that's me. How's this person? But you can go through all the different vendors on here to check them out. Just say we want to click this one and you can see everybody has a crafty code and then they show you who they are, what kind of items they've got going down, their store links and everything. So please go check out the website. Very cool. Don, you did an amazing job on the website. <laughs> it's fantastic. I love it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Sorry, I was looking through the website. I got distracted. I love you guys. Sorry, I was distracted. <laughs> Chaos. I know. I watched you guys as you were building it. That was very, very cool. Do we know when the spring one's happening? I just, you cur curious. I'm just curious, Dodd. Do we know when the spring summer one's going down? I'd love to uh, know about it a little bit. <laughs> what is I want to buy more stuff, Don. I want I want more things. Oh, good stuff. No, no clue is it's good. I figure we're still in the middle of this one. What are we doing? But if for anybody, we will be having one in the spring summertime. So look for it on the website, on the Twitter. They will be talking about it. It'll be pretty chill, pretty chill. Theron's crunching dates. That's fair. Whoop woo. Date cruncher. Do 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 do. D minus five minutes to raid. <laughs> oh, it's good stuff. I this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy everyone else that we have raiding today. The Raymond Pond is who we will be going to go take a gander at. Um, they do a lot of different things. Cross stitch, art cards, prints, graphic design. I think they said they were just doing graphic design today on stream. So that'll be pretty cool. They do have an Etsy shop. They also have a Ko-Fi shop. Um, obviously they stream on Twitch because I'm sending you over to them and they have a Twitter. Um, so I was looking at their designs earlier and they, they're really good. I really like their graphic designs. They have the cutest, the cutest items to take a look at. The Raymond Pond. I'll be sending you there in just a minute. And also, Graceful Dawn. You should totally check her out. She recycles jewelry into new beautiful pieces. Love watching her streams. Those are the two next to me. Those are the ones I focused on the most. Those are the ones that I have on my brain. <laughs> Thank you, Ellie. Thank you. Uh, also with, with, um, with my perler beads, I also make things like, um, do, and I don't sell these that often because I'm still kind of experimenting on it, but I make kumihimu braids as well. So this is one of the ones that I was experimenting on, kumihimu braids. So this will be an item I'll be selling in the store eventually, um, once I get a little more practice in on it. But I made, I made a bunch of fun. This one's a necklace. This one is a bracelet. That looks really nice. Yes. Welcome back, Susan Lee. Uh, we're just going to zoom in real quick so you can look at these a little closer. So I have, I have been experimenting with Kumihimu braids. Focus. 
focus, camera, camera. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Okay. So Kumihimu braids. Uh, this one is obviously just a bracelet that you can kind of put on. And it's got a magnetic side piece. I'm not entirely sure uh, what you would price something like this at, but I had a lot of fun making it. So I will be experimenting with these, and eventually I'll be adding these to my shop as well as the perler beads. These are pretty cool. One day, one day I'll get those added. Currently just still focusing on perler beads. You're licking it, Dawn? Really? Really? You're licking it? Gosh darn it. Do you want this one, Dawn? This is my very first one. It's a prototype. I haven't done anything else. That's my prototype. I can't sell you my prototype. <laughs> You're safe to raid. All right, hang on. All right, everybody, there is the raid command all aboard the A Crafty Day in Raid Train Choo Choo. Next stop, the Raymond Pond. He's doing his intro video. We'll go raid him while he's doing his intro video. It was lovely seeing you all today. I'm going to send you over. I'll see you later, and I'll be chilling in the stream with everyone else. Bye, Dawn. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye, everybody. I'm clicking the raid button. Bye, everybody.